Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting here again. I wasn't for, on YouTube for two weeks. I've been quite busy. So I'm coming today with easy craft. At least I hope it will be easy. Uh, I just created this triple pocket. I can say for tack. One pocket is from bottom. Then is another here at the front. And another behind. And these tacks are not, not going together. You can't see that other tack so every pockets are separate and I really hope that folding is easy it's uh, inspired by my Christmas wrapping I've been watching so many uh, channels over the Christmas with uh, you know decorative wrapping and this is kind of like following one of those uh, wrapping styles so what I did I took one book page and two tacks and these tags are <clears throat> same size. I can tell you the size of my tags and also size of my book page. This is, um, I will say, two and three quarter by five and three quarter. And my book page is five and seven eight. by nine and three eighths so that's my book page but uh, it actually doesn't matter too much uh, how big book page i will have uh, i have to have big <laughs> bigger book page than is tuck so i just folded my book page half and i measured you know that book page folded half it it's covering most of my tag. That was the measurement what I needed. Then I made a position of my tag kind of in the middle to have these sides um, similar similar size-ish. I didn't measure it with the ruler. I just tried to, you know, by eye to place it in the middle. I think I am close to that. And I folded those sides over my tag. So I'm going to flip it this way and fold first here and then I fold it that opposite and it looks like I am close to the middle cut. It's not too bad. Then I have opened it again and here these two I folded this uh, inside side inside hold it down and flatten this top with this fold to follow to follow the edge of my tag here I made kind of like tri triangle here on the top then I did same with that opposite side I open it folded this inside side and flat the top with that fold follow this side of my tuck like this I took a glue and I glued here those triangles be careful with the glue because here straight away you have a tuck so do not glue that tuck to that book page just put there some glue and fold it do same on that opposite side and fold it if you would like to have there some decorative stitching now it's time take your tuck out of this composition and do decorative stitching here and decorative stitching here if you want so on this side so I added zigzag stitching on these edges and I also added zigzag stitching on this side on all that bottom. Now I can take that tack and place it here to make sure that I will fold these sides uh, far enough that I will fit that tack inside. I'm going to put that tack this way. I'm going to fold these uh, sides. First I will put a little bit of glue here on the bottom fold those sides and because that book page it's 
just exactly to close those sides but they are not overlapping each other I need to reinforce it here a little bit so I'm gonna take some paper decorative paper maybe this one yeah I think it can fit there yeah so I may can do some you know something decorative here like entry to that pocket Yeah, just like this, I'm going to distress it. And I'm going to put a glue, I'm going to, I'm going to leave that tuck inside. I'm going to put a glue here on this half of my, uh, of those book pages. And also on that opposite side uh, at the same you know at the same spot I mean at the same high or <laughs> hopefully you know what I mean <clears throat> and I'm gonna place this as my decoration and also kind of like sealer for both halves so that's the one pocket here the other pocket will be here on the bottom and we will create it now so I'm gonna move that tag on the bottom to make it straight with this first pocket and I'm gonna work on these two flaps I'm gonna fold this I will say kind of between this edge uh, kind of like in the middle just to make it Fold it on different spot than is that first one. Same I will do on that opposite side. Kind of like in the middle. And I can do exactly same. I can add their decorative stitching on these edges or I can use just glue. But I think because I do have that uh, stitching here, I'm going to use it here as well. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue, secure my fold. And I'm gonna use my sewing machine and do zigzag stitching here and zigzag stitching here. So I added that zigzag stitching on all over of that top. And again, I forgot to say that before here on the bottom. So both of these uh, halves are uh, have a decorative stitching here uh, on the bottom. I forgot, no, no, I do have this dress distress those edges and now I will do exactly same like before I will put a little bit of glue here on the bottom fold these halves I'm gonna put there my tag just to make sure I will don't fold it but here I do have that first pocket so that pocket should be perfect measurement and I'm gonna fold these halves and seal them here on the bottom fold that opposite one seal it like this and because again those book pages are not overlapping each other i'm gonna use another paper you could hear this off cut so i'm gonna cut it mm. hold hold together I'm gonna cut this one a little bit I think right and uh, that number that I can use like label yeah I'm guessing this way I'm gonna use some uh, corner punch to make these corners decorative so I cut the corners to make them uh, you know um, rounded because I don't like too much sharp corners and uh, I also distressed that piece. I'm gonna put again here. I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna put again a glue on both halves. I think somewhere here, and exactly at the same spot on that opposite half. And that will hold 
both this will hold both sides together so I'm gonna place it over it and I'm gluing it over my stitching to make sure that stitching will be visible because it's beautiful decoration so we do have pocket in the back go there go there I hope I didn't glue it together. So we do have pocket in the back because we sealed that bottom. That tag is holding nicely. We do have pocket from the bottom. And we do have this front pocket. So there can be put some flowers. And you can totally use this as a gift tag or you know, a gift card and put their flowers and you do have beautiful, beautiful gift. And as I said, this is, uh, this is totally inspired by my Christmas wrapping. I did this, you know, that um, cascade wrapping from those sides and it did look beautiful. And I put there, um, I forgot the name of those branches, you know, over the Christmas, those beautiful branches of, of, Christmas tree so I placed there those small branches pine pine I think it's pine branch I forgot the name of that but it did look beautiful so this pocket is kind of like inspired by that by that Christmas wrapping <laughs> and I'm gonna put here some oh sorry some stamps and I do have here my small suitcase with few stamps inside so I think I'm going to place here this small butterfly. You know, I'm trying to use my off cuts and pre-stamp something here and there. And my very simple triple pocket. One, two and three. It's done. And you can place it on your book page. Your oh, book page. Yeah, journal page. <laughs> So you will have three pockets. This is my very short, very short tutorial after two weeks. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you took some inspiration. And I really hope it's not too hard to create this triple pocket because it's just simple uh, folding of the sides of that book page. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for visiting me and spending your time with me. If you like this video, please... Uh, subscribe uh, and share this video it will help to grow this channel and I will be I will appreciate that very much have a beautiful day take care about yourself and I will see you soon bye